Adelaide had won three of the previous four clashes against Hawthorne, but the last time the Crows won against anybody at the MCG was three years ago, against the Hawks. Milestones in the Hawthorne lineup for Sam Mitchell and Sean Burgoyne, who reached their 200th AFL games, while Jordan Lewis shaped up for his 150th. Goalless last week against Geelong, Lance Franklin was on the board in the opening minutes. Goal umpire goes up there, way. that's a magnificent kick. Kurt Tibbett replied for the Crows soon after, before Brendan Whitecross took the odds from outside the arc. Going close, it's all the way, it's a goal. Lewis looks set for a goal to mark his day, but this leg break was out of season at this venue, as Cyril Rioli did the heavy lifting for Burgoyne to put the finishing touch. Time to settle, go goalward, Otten goes back, live ball, Burgoyne kicks the goal point blank range. Adelaide responded with three goals within four minutes, thanks to Tom Lynch, Jason Porplesia and Tippett. That's a straight as he'd like it. So he's kicked two and this has been terrific. Adelaide back within a point. A second career goal for Kyle Cheney gave Hawthorne the goal edge at the first change, before Lewis hooked the Hawks two goals clear. Hooking back and he's kicked the goal. He's kicked six for the season, including three last weekend. The Crows put their beaks back in the contest. Lynch bagged his second goal before Tippett stretched to his limit. Oh, that's a great mark. Well, Cloak's the premier contested marker in the comp. This bloke's probably pushing up behind him, isn't he? And that looks a better kick. Hawthorne then found another scoring burst. Three goals in four minutes, with Matt Suckling taking advantage of Lax marking in front of goal. At half time, Hawthorne 10 7 67, Adelaide 6 8 44. Cyril Rioli became the Hawks' 10th goal kicker as the margin extended to five goals. And this is a body blow because Tippett at one end misses and Rioli at the other gets it home. Luke Bruce, the 11th. He was a dead eye dick last year, but in this year he gets his first goal for the season. Ian Callanan ended the Hawks' five goal streak. And he should kick a goal, and he does. It looked like an aberration by Adelaide as Hawthorne reached the 90s. G. Bruce is having a purple patch, and he's got his second. The Crows kicked a couple of majors to almost make up the margin between them at half time. Well done by Callanan, running hard, was it? Yes. He's got a second. Crows are doing OK here. Any hopes Adelaide had about mounting a final quarter fight back were quashed early, as the Hawks made the most of a turnover. Looks up, kicks a beautiful flew. Well, Bruce, I thought it was going to sit for now. Otten's not quick. Bruce is quick. Franklin to Lewis, and Lewis dribbles at home. Franklin curled in his third major to make it four on the bounce for the Hawks. We'll watch it. It's coming back left to right, but it ignores the other. Like a well-trained dog, he just puts it through, and I think he sees the humour in that. He's got three. In his first game of the year, Liam Shields became Hawthorne's 12th goal kicker, stretching the gap to eight goals. Liam Shields joining the act, his first of the afternoon. No fade-out today for Hawthorne, as Sam Mitchell joined the goal spree. And he puts it through. Bruce's day ended early after colliding with Brody Martin. Now, he wouldn't have expected that guy to be out there, would he? He didn't. He no. didn't. Even, even here where he looks back, he, it's not that he's looking for somebody. It was just that he was looking for the ball. It was just a terrible collision. After winning the pre-season competition, the Crows have been brought back down to earth. Full-time Hawthorne 21-14, 140. Adelaide 12-12, 84. Charles Christian, Big Pond Sport.